and let Britain become a less tolerant place. I'll tell you this now, if migrants hadn't come to this country, I wouldn't be standing here today because they do our NHS afloat. So I hope you all agree with me that for Theresa May to use 3.2 million EU citizens as a bargaining chip makes me sick to the pit of my stomach. And I hope you all agree migrants and refugees should be welcome in this country. And I hope to see you all here again on the 18th of March on the Stand Up For Racism demonstration to show the government that people should be welcome in this country. But I want to say one final thing. We're marching for the NHS. We're against cuts, closures and privatisation. But the most important part of the NHS is the staff. And NHS workers, just like the PCS members that I represent, and all our public sector workers, have had seven years of pay cuts under this brutal Tory government. And I met people, nurses and doctors, and other staff, who were heartbroken about having to leave the NHS because they couldn't pay their bills because they cannot afford to make ends meet. So when we say stand up for the NHS, I think we have to say NHS workers and all public sector workers deserve a decent pay rise and it's time the government give it to them now. So my final point is if they deserve a pay rise and all of us deserve a pay rise, it's long overdue that the trade unions and the TUC do something about the resolution we agreed unanimously in September, which is to get all public sector workers to campaign against the pay cuts and to take action together. If we do that, not only can our health service workers have decent pay, but we can stop the cuts and we can look forward to the future with confidence. Support the NHS workers, Support Jeremy Corbyn, who's made a point of being here today. And let's say to Theresa May, hands off the NHS, victory of the health service. Thanks for coming.